everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest this evening is an actor you know from The Wire, Molly's Game, and Luther. He now stars in the new movie, Luther, The Fallen Son. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Idris Elba. <laughs> Again. Nice to see you again. It has been, it's been a minute since you have been here. Absolutely. Well, welcome. I want to do the whole walk again, just to get that again. Yeah. No. I might want to do it again, because I didn't hug you very well. I keep forgetting. <laughs> when you're not here, I forget how tall you are. I know. I felt like a toddler hugging his dad <laughs> over there. That's all right. Come to Papa anytime. All right. right. Yeah. Well, um, uh, last you were here three years ago uh, for the movie Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. And before we get to the rest of the stuff I want to talk to you about, you got to settle something. Obviously, there's an incredible controversy about that movie, Hobbs and Shaw. Are really? you, you know what I'm talking about? No, here? I have no idea. There is a controversy as to whether Hobbs and Shaw is canon in the Fast and the Furious universe. Because <laughs> does it fit anywhere? Is it? Is do we have to accept that as part of the story as Fast and the Furious? What is your belief? And and keep in mind that if it is part of the canon. Then why is the eleventh Fast and Furious movie called Fast Ten? Mm. <laughs> you don't get easy questions here. Ooh. You know. I mean, yeah, we yeah. hold the guest feet to the yeah. fire. <laughs> You're putting yes. me right in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you know what I'd say? I'd say that I was amazing in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. That's the right answer. <laughs> Do you mind if I take this coat off? Because uh, I... you can, <laughs> Idris, you can take the pants off if well, you want. Well, I better. Not... What do you let's got? Not, let's not. Let's not. I'll take the. I'll take the... I'll take no, the... listen. I wore the jacket. I thought, uh, you know, it's quite Luthery. Yeah, it's very Luthery. Just drape it. Thank you. Yeah. Just, just drape. But it, there you it, go. It's not really good for. Very nice. You know. Very nice. No. Late, no. Because we also night. might. We also might mix it up. Exactly. You never know. <laughs> you laugh. You laugh now. Well, right, but you won't be laughing when I'm dead on the floor. Okay. <laughs> punch my head off my shoulders. So how how, you, how have you been? Good, man. I mean, you know, since I since I saw you, I had a big birthday. Which one? Five zero. Oh wow. No. Oh. What's no. that like? Whew. I mean, you haven't reached there yet, so. Someday. Someday, Someday but uh, it's a, Someday, it's yeah. uh, you know what? It, there's a lot of um, you know what I I I gaff means. No. I gaff. What's means? I gaff? I don't give a you know. Yes. There's a lot of that happening. Oh, sure. Yeah. You get... Oh, no, but that's actually a good feeling past 50. You just do not care what people think of you. Oh, man, I love it. It works for almost everything. It's like, I don't give a, you know what I mean? Does that affect your performing? Like, does like, you just do your thing? No, it actually, it actually makes me a lot more uh, sort of considered, considering my performance, mm -hmm. uh, because, you, you know. Don't, you know you don't have many left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This could be it. That, that wasn't where I was going, but yes. Yeah, just think about that. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. But no, yeah. it feels good, I, and I feel good. Thank you. How nope. are you? How are you? How, how am I? Yeah. I'm 58. I'm barely hanging on. Okay. Yeah. So I keep my coat on. Um, <laughs> no one wants to see my guns. Now, here's the, the last time we were here. We we're talking about how that, besides being, you know, a, an actor, you're also a DJ, mm. and you DJ on Ibiza. Okay. Do you still, post 50, are you allowed <laughs> to be a DJ? Just, just about. Or, I don't know either, or they check your ID. No, they check my ID now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, see if I, my yeah. Zimmer frame can fit, you know, where the, <laughs> in, a, in a booth. Um, no, I'm still DJing. I'm doing Coachella again. I did Coachella. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I don't know, man. They must be, uh, you know, suckers for punishment. But no, I'm going to have a good time at Coachella. I love DJing. It's kind of like a sort of ground zero for me. You know what I mean? It just keeps me very grounded. Okay. Mm. Do you have a, a DJ name? Uh, it's Idris Elba. <laughs> Come on, you've got to have. I mean, you got to be okay. DJ uh, I, Goatee. I, I don't know what I would yeah, call you. Yeah, I used to be uh, DJ Big Driss, but. Big Driss? Yeah. Big Driss? Yeah, but it didn't work. You know. Do you have any? What? What? I, what would I be? You, uh, uh, DJ Cold Beard. <laughs> Or cold beer. Cold beer. Big bear. Big bear. Or, I like that. I don't know. Um... Little bear. 
<laughs> Baby Bear? DJ Gold, Goldilocks? CB. CB. DJ CB. That's nice. It's uh, a working title. Okay, now, has, has, has you know, in, in all seriousness, I, 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 you're one of my favorite actors. And I'm just curious whether, have you gotten better as an actor? You know, I'm not saying even to post 50, but as you get older, how does that change your approach to the work? Because when people are younger, they have a certain vitality and they have a hunger and they throw themselves in the work completely sometimes to a fault. How does being a more mature man change the way you do your performances? I think, I think um, there's a lot of like, you know, experience that goes into the, A, first of all, the roles you pick, you know what I mean? You're, mm -hmm. you're sort of looking at the script, thinking about what do I have to offer to the character? What do mm -hmm. I have to offer to the director and the cast? Mm -hmm. and, and how many days do I have off, you know what I mean? Like, and what's the location? That's a big one, yeah, what's the location? <laughs> Are we shooting in Ibiza? <laughs> I definitely uh, feel that, you know, age gives you a lot more sort of, uh, you know, uh, I guess, you know, inquisitiveness to, to sort of get as close to the character as you can. You know what I mean? And uh, um, I enjoy that process a lot more as I, as I get older, you know? Well, as I was saying to you backstage, and I know this movie came out during COVID, so it's been out for a little while, but I think everybody should see 3,000 Years of Longing, which is you and Tilda Swinton, mm -hmm. where you play a genie, a djinn. Yeah. And you're at least 3,000 years old. You're an eternal <laughs> being. Yeah. And you, you, I don't know what, another actor who could convey that level of soulful, heartbroken gravitas that you bring to that part immediately. No, I, I buy you as an otherworldly being I, who is I, full of grief over the loneliness of life. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I mean, it's a classic. No one's seen it. Right. <laughs> no, I really think it is. A, I think it is a classic. I think it's one of George Miller's greatest films. It is, actually. It was one of the um, hardest films to make. We shot it in Sydney during the, you know, the epidemic, I mean, the yeah. pandemic, and it was, like, a very difficult film to make. Mm. Um, it is a deep film, though. You know, it's, a, it's about a, a genie who basically lives for 3,000 years and comes and meets a woman that, in a hotel room and says, you know, here's your three wishes. And she's like, nah, uh, I'm not into that. He's like, well, let me tell you something. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, he, can't, he can't be free until she until, asks yeah, for exactly. three wishes, the, the, the truest, the wishes of her heart. Of her heart, yeah. yeah. It's a good film. It's, it's deep. It's now, deep. You, you've said in recent years you've been, the quote I have here is, shedding skins. Mm. What do you mean by that? That sounds painful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's psoriasis, basically, you know. Sure. <laughs> just to, just mm. around the elbows. Yeah, there. you can get some Otesla for that, I think. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. I think, um, you know, you grow older and there's things that you care about a lot when you're younger and then as you get older, you just let go of those, some of those things, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very much one of these people, I'm West African, we hold on to things for a while, you know what I mean? There's a certain sort of like, we hold on to it. And as I get older, I just, you know, not so much. Shed. Like my jacket, like my coat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what does that free you up to do? If you, if you shed the skin, what does that allow you to do? I think it's about <clears throat> being more accepting, absorbing more, you know, you learn more, you're exposed to more, and I guess, you know, being more open, you know what I mean? When you can shed some stuff that you've been sort of holding on for a long time in your youthful years, mm -hmm. as you get older, you can sort of accept more, I think. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Idris Elba, everybody. Stick around.